What up, everyone? So only two more boxes of the month of November. So December's boxes have started coming today. So I'm going to try and move through this, um, these last two boxes and get through the countdown and then hopefully not be super behind for December. But in the meantime, we got Arcade Block. So let's open up this box and see what we got. Pop's getting excited. Alrighty. So first, looks like we got a shirt. And I'm assuming it's from Shirt Punch. Get down. Let's take a look. Alrighty. So it looks like it is holiday themed. So it's I think it's in the spirit of the ugly Christmas sweater deal. And it's got Yoshi on it, so that's cool. So it has a pattern on it that makes it look like it's been stitched in yarn because the whole um, the whole ugly sweater fad is like a big thing right now, so lots of people are doing it. So that's really cool. Obviously, this is just a shirt, not a sweater, but I think it would have cost too much for them to put a sweater in like this or to get one stitched this well, but it's very nice. Um, it actually seems pretty soft, too, uh, softer than usual. So it seems like a good style, good fit, and good pattern on it. So I think this is something that most people would enjoy. I'll give that a 7 out of 10. I think that's great, and I think lots of people will like that. So cool. There's our shirt. Next, looks like we got a big item in here, a Titans figure. What's up? So I'm guessing this is exclusive. Yes, in fact, it is. It says right there. So this is from Uncharted. Do, do, do. So this is, uh, his name is uh, Drake, right? Yeah, Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake from Uncharted. So uh, he just had a new game that came out or is coming out, but uh, the Uncharted series has gone on for a very long time. And I'm glad that the Titans um, are branching out because we've got a lot of Titans figures before, but it's always been from like, um, we've got a lot of the similar ones. We've got some from Breaking Bad. We got um, a few from like some, I can't think of the name of it now. We got one from Sherlock, but anyway. Um, they're usually from TV shows, so um, this is the first one I've seen that's been from a video game, which is really cool. So that's a cool character, and this is an exclusive figure. I really like the Titans Company, and I really like when we get exclusives in the nerd blocks, but it's just often series that um, I'm not familiar with. So, like I've said before, Titans uh, is mostly, they mostly do sci-fi um, and fantasy TV shows, so that's usually what their franchises are. So this one's a video game one and they have a few movie ones which are cool so I like these style more. So I hope they do more video games and movie franchises and less of the TV shows. But that's just my personal opinion. But either way, very nice figure and it's always cool to get exclusive stuff and it comes in a very nice box. So I think that is very welcome. Glad to have it. Next, so uh, we just talked about, I believe this is one of the uh, this says uh, uh, Arcade Block Exclusive, so you guys can get a look at it. So it's Link's sword. It's kind of like a sword in the stone, I'm guessing, what it's play on. And I'm trying to figure out what this is. I, for a second, I thought it was one of the Springs figures, but I don't think it is. I think I know what it is, though. Let me see. Yeah, okay. So this is different than what I thought. This is actually kind of cool. I could actually use this. So this is a cork. Um, or a stopper basically for wine bottles or champagne or whatever so basically you put this once you pop the cork in a wine bottle or champagne the cork usually expands and then you can't get it back in there so they make things like this to put on the top of your wine bottle or your champagne bottle or whatever and that just keeps it fresh that keeps it sealed keeps it from spilling or if it's something carbonated it keeps it carbonated so that's really cool I really like that um, I actually got one of these recently not of this but because I just needed one because I drink champagne all the time. I really like champagne. But it constantly goes flat because you don't always drink the whole bottle in one sitting. So it's good to have things like this that keep it carbonated. So that's really cool. I actually really like that. Um, I don't think this item would be for everyone because not everyone drinks wine. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's popular to drink, but you know, not everyone does. And the people that do, like, most people get really cheap wine, so they don't really care. But that's something cool to have. It's something a little bit different, and I really like it, so... Hopefully you do too. And it actually says the master cork on there. I didn't see that, so that's a given. All right, next. We got an Angry Birds figure. Mm -hmm. Oh, oops, sorry. So we got an Angry Birds figure. So let's open it up and see exactly what this is. There's a tear spot, so it isn't. Hold on. <laughs> All right, so it's kind of like a buildable figure. Um, these aren't the eraser kind, which I actually 
kind of like that they're not. So these are just little plastic figures. Open them up. I got the bomb guy, the little blackbird. So you build it like this, and then you snap it together. If I can do it. Oh my gosh, why is it so difficult? There we go. <laughs> Sorry. And then he comes with a little piece of ham. So yeah, just a little Angry Birds figure. So that's cool. A uh, very popular game, and these characters are like extremely popular now. The, this is the Angry Birds, I believe, is the highest um, selling game of all time, as in it sold the most copies, beating out every game in its history. So this is definitely a well-recognized franchise, and I think these characters are going to be around to stay. I think they're going to franchise out these characters, and they also have a movie coming out, so they're a pretty big deal. But yeah, this is a nice little figure. Uh, you can see it. It's got like, you know, about as detailed as it can be for like a simple bird shape. But yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, if there's anything else about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure it does something else because it has a little shape on the back here for something. I don't know if that's to make it into a keychain or what the deal is on that. But yeah, maybe I'll look it up in between our little break. Anyway, we got a little figure. Let's move on with the box. Come back to that. <clears throat> So next, also an arcade block exclusive, we got a little key, which I'm sure is going to, supposed to be like part of a necklace, I'm assuming, because it has a little loop on the top. Um, I do not recognize the emblem, what it's from, but it is actually metal. It's nice in quality, so that's pretty cool. I'll have to look on the card and see what it's supposed to be mimicking, but we'll see about that. Next, and the last item, we got a little vinyl. Oh no, sorry, that's not vinyl, that's a calendar. I thought it looked like a little vinyl record. Uh, from Halo 5. So we've been seeing these calendars um, pretty frequently from the Nerd Block Company lately, at least in this month. And, you know, just a little mini calendar. Um, I don't think calendars are super popular these days now that people have smartphones. But, you know, it's still nice. I th they're usually for kids, I would say. Like, I always had calendars as a kid. So, um, just to put on display, put on the wall. It's just like a poster to change every month. But, you know, it's just filler, so no big deal. So that was all the items in the box. Let's take a short break, and then we'll come back, and we'll talk about some value and give this box a rating. See you soon. All right, we're back. Now let's talk about some value on these items. So the shirt, thought it was nice. I think most people will enjoy the design. Um, so yeah, seven out of 10, I think a lot of people would like that. But that'll get the standard 12 to $15 value, as all shirts do. Next, our Titans figure. So, um, Titans, um, the, although they are exclusive, um, it usually doesn't up the resale value very much. And I'm not sure if that's due to the fact that Titans doesn't always pick the most popular franchises, or the fact that Titans just isn't as well known as, say, Funko or something like that. But either way, um, we often see these in boxes, but they don't get a high resale market. But something of this size from this company will cost somewhere between $12 to $15. So that's the value it's going to get. You could probably very easily find this cheaper online, but for this size and this quality, I think $12 to $15 is fair. But again, like I said, I hope they pick some more popular franchises because it would be really nice to get some exclusives from this box that are actually like popular series so they would have a re high resale market or more collectability. But I really like that company. Next, our little cork, our cork stopper. This is going to go right around 8 to 10 bucks. You can find it online for about that price and honestly, that's what I'd see it selling for in a store. So it's not uh, incredibly intricate. It doesn't have, um, it's not hard to make or anything like that. It's basically just the shape of it, but it's still really cool to have. And I think I'll use that. So way to go. Then our little Angry Birds figure. So this is actually from Kinect. So I was saying there's a shape on the back of it. I don't know if you can see on the very back. I doubt you can, but there was a little like divot in the back of it, which I thought was for something. And it is. Um, it's part of the Kinect series, so this will be interlocking with whatever Kinect um, figures you already have, whatever place that you have. I'm sure this will interlock with that, so that's the point of that. So yeah, it's a Kinect figure, but I honestly couldn't see these going for more than like three or four dollars. I could see something like this being sold at Target for like three or four bucks. Then our key. Um, this, I, I don't know what the franchise is from. Um, this isn't branded, so they couldn't actually say the name of the game that it's from. I'm sure someone in the comments knows, so you can let me know. But it just says Mansion Key. I know it's from something. I know it's from a game, but I'm just not sure which one. I'm not familiar enough with all the games to recognize it. But, you know, it's decent quality. But even still, when it's not branded or anything like that, this couldn't go for more than like 3 to $5. So that's what I'll put it at, 3 to 5 Then our calendar. 
These are always hard to put value on because these you can often find in like a dollar store. You can always find like cheap dollar store calendars because they're just not hard to make. But the price on the back is $7.99, so technically it's worth $8. So if you were to go buy this in a store, you would have to pay $8. So technically the value on this is $8. Keep in mind, you could definitely find it cheaper, but I always, for books and things like that that have a printed price, I usually always give it that value. So that's what I'm going to do. Eight bucks on that. That being said, on the low end, our value is at 46. On the high end, it's at 57. So no surprise at all, with the Nerd Block Company, a $30 box will usually give you around $50 worth of value. Almost always, like without a fail, which is great. That's pretty close to double, and that's that's really decent value. And we got some ex an exclusive, a few exclusive items. One of which was a Titans figure, which is really nice. So I think this box did pretty well. Um, things like the calendar and the key and stuff are mostly just filler, not for everyone. And the cork is really cool, but again, I don't think everyone would need that or even use that. Although it looks nice, it's not practical for all people. I still like the fact that they do try new things and try to think outside the box, no pun intended, but I, I like that they do that. I like that this company does that. They're not putting in ordinary, everyday stuff. They're putting in things you haven't seen before. Even if you don't end up liking it, at least they're keeping it interesting. So, that being said, with the value and the fact that not all this stuff is for everyone, I'll give it a 7.25 out of 10. I think they did a great job, good value. I like the items, but I don't think everyone would appeal to everyone, so that's the only reason it gets a little bit of a lower score. But still a great score overall. <clears throat> And I think most people would be pleased with this box. So, but let me know what you guys thought. Someone can tell me where that key is from because I have no idea. So someone sound off in the comments. And other than that, I uh, hope you enjoyed this arcade block. Shirt 7 out of 10, box 7.25 out of 10. See you guys on the next video, last video of the month of November. Talk to you soon. Peace.